Hello all heroes and welcome back to Invincible Guarding the Globe and today we've got a few things to talk about. We've got some new GDA Ops events to cover, we've got a brand new patch notes um, to cover for a balancing patch with some very interesting ramifications and a uh, nice return of a much beloved feature and some nice nice loot that we will all be receiving very, I say very soon but pretty much immediately. So we will talk about all of that in this video, starting with the new GDA Ops events. No new characters today, but we do have two new events. First of all, we have an artifacts focused one here. This one is focused around the Flaxen drone item, if I'm not mistaken. If we go to the collections here and look it up in the artifacts, this one has a passive ability where when the hero holding it, receives a debuff, it will silence the enemy, basically turning off their abilities, and decrease their defense by 15% for 3 seconds. I will say, I think this loses out to a lot of the more popular ones, like the GDA cloaking device, the battle hologram, certainly the obedience caller if you have that one. But, if you're a newer player and you don't have a lot of artifacts right now, it's certainly never a bad thing to get a free artifact. Me personally, I'm not going to go too crazy for it. Um, I am prioritizing just getting upgrade materials right now. But hey, if you do need to get up to that minimum five number of artifacts, worst case scenario, you get stats. And hey, let's say you get stunned by robots um, stun missiles. This will keep him from healing his allies for a little bit, which can stack up over time. You do that once or twice, that can really do you some favors. Um, so, that's the first event, and then the second one we have here is focused around getting some criminal characters. Um, I'm not too worried about it right now, but basically, the farther you go through this event, you can get yourself some rare criminal characters, and usually, a small chance of some elite criminal characters. Now, I am not pushing too hard on this one. The three criminals we have right now in the elite category are the Mauler Twins and Titan. The Mauler Twins are meh, and Titan is good. Problem is that Titan is the best criminal, and criminals are pretty much the worst faction. Now, Titan is a good defender. He's I, I've put a lot of work into him. I I spent a pretty penny getting him up to Omnipotent Plus because I already had him up to Epic something when the uh, Battle Beast event rolled around, so, you know, I, I decided to take him the rest of the way, and he certainly puts in some work, but he does lose out to characters like Monster Girl and Alan the Alien for sure. I still certainly like him a lot, but that does not mean that he is the best in the world. Now, so, I say that to say that I'm not going to be focus firing that GDA op event too much, however... There is an extremely high, nearly guaranteed chance that the next new character is going to be Doc Seismic. Doc Seismic has already been added into the game as an enemy you can fight, and he is shown to be a striker, or not striker, um, attacker, criminal character. So, you know, if you wanted to get some criminal fodder going on, or maybe you are upgrading Titan, or even one of the Mauler Twins, I mean, hey, more power to you if you're trying to make them function, um, then hey go wild, get yourself some fodder, no reason not to. Me personally though, I'm going to prioritize getting my characters powered up, because lord knows my characters need it. I've got a green ghost here and a titan that can go all the way to max level. I've got duplicate here and invincible who definitely need some powering up in order to get, um, in order to do some more damage. And robot, I'll catch him up eventually. We'll, we'll worry about it at some point or another. Um, next, we do have some patch notes to go over. Um, some nice stuff here too. It's just a balancing patch, nothing crazy. But we do have some GDA Ops news to talk about here. First of all, turning up the heat rewards have been increased. Nothing too crazy there. I mean, just a little more of the gold chips, I suppose. I mean, sure. Okay. Um, that's all right. Now, the really good one is the next bullet point here. Downtown destruction rewards have been slightly increased. That's the one that gives the pink XP here. 
Yeah, even if it's a small increase, it doesn't necessarily say for sure. Even a small increase is better than nothing. So I think that is absolutely fantastic. Um, next, we do have a buff for the Guardians Around the Globe um, event. This one, the maximum timer has been reduced from 12 hours down to 8 hours. So you don't have to wait so long to get your rewards. And the chance to get higher rarity gear has been increased. So if this is an event you've been grinding out, then you've got a higher chance of better loot. You really don't need to if you have a really good alliance because that can really supply you with a lot of the gear you'll need. But hey, it's still an option. Um, next here, Reanimen Rampage getting a bit of a change. It's been upgraded from 15 minutes to 30 minutes. So that one actually gives you a little more time to go through the waves and the rewards have been increased. This one is kind of the jack of all trades, master of none op, where it gives you a bit of everything. With the increase to the time, allowing you to clear through more waves, because it is pretty easy in my experience, and the slightly increased rewards, I'd be curious if this would be more worth it, as long as you can kind of keep up with it. Who knows, this might actually be worth doing. And then finally, everyone who's anyone, the maximum timer is reduced from 18 hours down to 12 and the chance to get artifact XP has been increased. So not really, I doubt this is going to change any hearts and minds on the actual usefulness of that particular one, but hey, it is better than nothing. Now, um, the last order of business regarding the patch notes is that the campaign's difficulty has been adjusted to make progression smoother from chapter 10 to chapter 20. And when they say adjusted, they apparently mean nerfed into the ground. If we take a look at this current um, mission here, I am now stronger by an over 50% margin. This mission was kicking the crap out of me a few days ago. In fact, if you look at my robot breakdown video, my last video that I um, uploaded, you'll see that I jumped into this fight, got the crap kicked out of me. That was just before this patch note went live. At this point, it'd be a cakewalk. I mean, I could probably just throw Green Ghost and Titan in here and they could probably do it by themselves. Um, so, campaign got a massive nerf to the point that a lot of people are taking it all the way through the end of chapter 20. Which, if you've taken the time to look, chapter 20 is the end of the current story or the story. I don't know. Usually you get a... You, this is not unusual for these types of games, but usually you get a nerf when there's already been harder endgame stuff added. So, interesting there. I wonder if they are cooking up something to be a higher difficulty level. I certainly hope so, because I've got some characters that would love to have some higher battles. Um, either some new story chapters or some alternate events um, that are not just GDA ops to give us something to do. Any, so anything like that, I would be happy. So, just something to keep in mind there. Um, little little uh, caveat to that. If you do go through chapter 20, be aware. If you look at your daily missions, one of them is start the campaign one time for 20 points. That matters. If you go all the way to the end of chapter 20 and complete it, you can't complete this one anymore. And then in order to get to level 100 or to the 100 points, you are going to have to do the recruit one hero in recruitment in order to get the dossier. Basically, you got to spend a dossier to get a dossier, which is a little bit of an ouch. Now, <laughs> for people like me who are not shy with their summoning, not a big deal somebody who's really trying to save dossiers and be picky with their resources, especially free-to-play players, then you start getting into some trouble territory. Um, yeah, that, that's when it can start to become a problem. Hopefully, they will maybe adjust some points or add a few more um, items to this list. I haven't even done the math for the weeklies, but the weeklies even have complete 10 stages in the campaign. I don't think the math is quite as strict in this edition but it's hard to say for sure just a little little note there i'm not too worried about it in fact 
my next video or the one after, depending on the timing, is probably going to be me pushing campaign just to see how huge the nerf was and seeing how far I can get just for just for giggles because I do have some pretty strong heroes. Um, but just just kind of keep that in mind. If you're not worried about it, go nuts. If you are worried about it, maybe pace yourself a little bit. Just uh, just some friendly advice. Finally, we've had the return of the free gems in the shop here. Now, <laughs> interesting little note here. I've actually already claimed these for the day, for the week, and for the month. Um, if you look here, we've got 30 gems daily. We've got 30 gems weekly. And we've got 30 gems monthly. It's a little adorable that the monthly one is still 30 gems. That's usually a little higher in other games. But the point is, this feature is back. And I think it's still bugged because I've already collected them for the day, week, and month. And now they've reappeared. Which has me scared to death to touch them because they have not been treating exploiters very well lately. Um, so, you know, I'm... I'm scared to touch something and be like, oh, free loot from a bug, and then get slapped on the wrist for it. So we'll see. I have submitted a, a bug fix a support message for that one, and uh, we'll, we'll come back to you on that one. But effectively, what you need to worry about is that this is back, and as compensation for the time that it was down, they've just straight up given us 1,400 gems for free to make up for the days that were missed, plus a little extra on top. So an absolutely massive gem infusion that you will get as soon as you log in, if you haven't already. Just absolute wonderful boon for all of us, regardless of whether you're free to play, pay to win, who cares? Free loot is never a bad thing. So that is about all we have for today. Like I said, next time we're gonna probably do a big campaign push to see how huge this nerf was and we'll go from there so yeah also i would hope that maybe in a week we'll get a new character possibly doc seismic we shall see so until then we shall see you next time have a good one